the Sprinter W906. Here, too, the windshield washer system needs to be removed. But how? Before the system can be removed, the wiper arms must be moved to their basic position. So operate the wipers for a short time and let them run to the end position. There is a risk of injury when working on the windshield wiper mechanism. Important, always remove the ignition key. Don't forget to cover the front end to avoid damaging the paintwork. In order to remove the wiper arm, first disconnect the washer fluid hose. Now the nut can be unscrewed from the wiper arm. Incidentally, when tightening the nut on the windshield wiper arm, a torque of 30 newton meters is required. When the nut is undone, the wiper arm can be pulled off the wiper shaft. To do this, use the Polar Special Tool. Order number, 00158938330. Removing the wiper system naturally requires both wiper arms to be removed. Then the air filter housing is removed. To do this, first detach the jump start connection point from the air filter housing. Then unplug the electrical connector of the intake manifold pressure sensor and the mass airflow sensor. Loosen the hose clamp on the intake air hose and detach the hose. Now the air filter housing can be taken out. There is now enough space to remove the wiper system. First unscrew the bolt on the bracket of the windshield wiper motor. Remove the nuts from the wiper shaft. Take off the washer with the rubber shims. When reinstalling, keep to a tightening torque of 12 newton meters on both sides. The nuts on the wiper shafts must be removed on both sides. Otherwise the wiper system cannot be pulled out. Note, any paintwork damage caused during this work must be repaired. The wiper system can now be pulled out. But first disconnect the plug on the connection line of the windshield wiper motor. Note, if the wiper system is being replaced, always detach the bracket from the windshield wiper motor and keep it for later. The bracket is not automatically supplied with new models.